Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really well. Today I have a different kind of video for you guys. Every video I make, I get so many questions and comments about my nails. I do them myself. I don't have them on right now. So don't mind me. I think I've said it in my last two videos. I'm in the process of cleaning windows and window sills, getting all the pollen and the dirt from the winter and everything cleaned up and I just, I'm not going to put my artificials on till I'm done with that because my nails are getting destroyed from all the cleaning products and everything. But I am going to walk you through step by step on how I do my nails, the products I use, which are 99.9% .9 Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree products. I love Dollar Tree. You know that. I love them. So many awesome things that you can find name brand to do your nails at the Dollar Tree. So how I start. I'm going to start off with, I made myself this little contraption, which I have shown it before. I can't take full credit for this, any credit for this really, because I saw somebody else, and I believe it was on Pinterest, that showed how to do this, and I've been using it ever since. Please don't mind this one. I have all the supplies to make myself a new one, but this one's still working, so I keep using it. I used a piece of foam board. I bought the hooks that you can get at the Dollar Tree, the packs of hooks. I hope you can see that. I bought 10 of them and they come in packs of whatever, multiple. So it was very cheap to do this. I stuck them because they are self-adhesive. I stuck them on the foam board, then cut the foam board to fit. And on the point of the hook itself, I used poster tack that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Big pack of this, it's gonna last me forever. Most of it is gone now because the little grand lady swiped it off to hang things on their walls in their bedroom. So this is my poster tack. I think I've been using this, this thing now for at least two years. It's just, it keeps working, so I keep using it. But you can see how much nail polish I have on it. And I buy the artificial nails. Right now, I'm gonna put this down. Right now, the Dollar Tree, which I have shown many different styles of the Kiss nails. Kiss is the brand I use. I like them the best. They're strong. They don't crack. They don't break. They wear well. Kiss is the brand I use. I usually buy, and I don't have a new pack, so I'm just going to show you the empty pack. It's a big pack like this that you can get at Walmart for like $6. I believe this is the only Walmart product that I have, and I have $1 general, and that is this. I buy them in smaller packs at Dollar General if I don't feel like running to Walmart. And these are just the plain that you paint yourself. But it comes in a pack like this and you get a hundred nails in here of various sizes. What I do is I go through and I size them and then I write on it which, which size fits this nail. Like this compartment of nails was, it fit my thumb. This compartment fit my ring finger and you know, whatever goes down to pinky and that way I don't have to sort through every single time that I'm going to do a set of nails I know that I can just go to that those particular compartments and those nails fit and these other ones I can file down the sides and make them fit on another nail like I believe these are the very biggest which are too big for my thumbs but I can file them down on each side and make them fit once I'm done with this size. So that is what I use. These are my favorite. And these, the same exact thing. That This is like $6, less than $6 at Walmart. This I believe is $2.50 at Dollar General for the 24 pack of nails. You know, this was $6 for 100. But I like them, so I pick them up. And what I do is I just go ahead, I'm gonna open this up here and I'm gonna show you. I, I take my nail that fits. This is actually for my thumb. You know, you size them, make sure that they fit. And then I put them on my thing. And I do them, I do it from pinky to thumb from the outside in, pinky to thumb from the outside in. And you just stick it to your poster tack and they stick. I hope you can see that right there. The nail sticks. You take your nail polish, which 99% of my nail polish is Dollar Tree and you polish your nails. All the mess stays on here. You don't get it all over your hands. You don't have to wait for dry time. You paint them on here, however many coats you need. 
I have so many. I brought a bunch of different nail polishes up. These are all Dollar Tree. I bought these packs a while back from, from Dollar Tree. I think it was last year, maybe about this time. I absolutely love these. I was buying them at Walmart. They stopped selling them at Walmart, and then I found them at the Dollar Tree, and I think I bought four or five packs of this because I know they work well. And it is the Ice brand, and they're like top coats. This one is a regular top coat, and this one, I, the pink one, I believe is like a speed dry top coat. I like them, so I have many packs of these on hand, but you can use any top coat that you would want that you have. My very favorite nail brand is from Walmart, and it is the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. I absolutely love them. They dry quickly, they dry hard, and I use them all the time. But yeah, you put your nails on your little little contraption here, you paint them, you let them sit, you know, till the next day, you pop them off, and you have sets ready to go. And I'm gonna I'm gonna show you here real quick. I used this was I think one of the little tool things maybe from the Dollar Tree that I I have all my different nails. The colors that I have made I put them in here and I do them everybody is different but I do mine by size you know so I know these are thumbnails these are pointy nails that way if I break one or whatever it may be I can just go in and grab that particular size I don't have to root through you know a whole hand you know pinky thumb whatever sizes to try figuring out which fits where these I have them just separated by finger and I also have in here, because I take this with me when I travel as well. If I go to my daughter's house for the weekend or whatever it may be, I throw this in my in my suitcase and I have everything I need in case I break one. But you know, I have my glue in there. I have a little orange stick. I think that's what those called, a little nail file. I have a pin, a straight pin in there to, to use. But this is what I keep it with me and it works well for me. So that is what I do. I hope you can I hope you can see that with how I do it, but that is that. So once I get all of my nails put on here, I get them painted. I usually let them dry till the next day and then, then go ahead and put them in my little case or put them on. Once I get that all done, I, oh, I wanna show you too. These are the next pack of hooks that I'm gonna use once this other thing finally does wear out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try doing it a little bit smaller with the smaller hooks and see if that'll the smaller hooks will work, make myself a new one. But once I get you know, the set done that I want done, I clip my nails back. I like mine pretty short, my natural nails. So I, I clip my nails back, file them, push back my cuticles. I rarely ever clip my cuticles or cut them off. I just don't. I never have a problem with it. So I just kind of push them back clip my nails, file them, like I said. And then um, I don't buff my nails. A lot of people lightly buff their nails. I do not. I never have a, I never have them pop off for me. So I don't worry about buffing. That just destroys your nails even more. So I don't do that. But what I do is, I know I have a cotton ball here somewhere. I don't know, what, oh, here it is. I use some rubbing alcohol and I take one of their cotton pads, Dollar Tree cotton rounds. I just put a little bit of alcohol in here and I rub each of my nails with the rubbing alcohol. And I have used both, this is the 50%, I've used 50% and 70% and it works the same. So I just rub, rub my nails with the alcohol to get all the extra oils off. And then I just start applying my nails. And all I do is I take my glue this is the glue that I use this is the super glue super glue brand super glue and this is the gel and I really like these because I can carry these with me as is without being opened I, I still don't I could open it probably because they do have a cap but I still don't trust it so I throw one in there this one is is open because I've used a set of nails out of here but I can throw these in my purse and have it when I need it and not have to worry about it leaking and dripping if you just leave it as is. You could probably even open it and just use the cap and I'm not sure, I, I would be afraid personally to do it that way, but you could. This is the gel that I use. I like the gel because it doesn't run all over the place. When I use the liquid, 
I get glue everywhere. And it doesn't matter if I put it on my natural nail, if I put it on the nail tip, I just make a mess. So I find the gel works better for me. And what I do is sometimes I'll put it on the artificial nail. Sometimes I'll just put a few dabs right on my natural nail. And then you just put your, put your nail on, attach your nail. And what I do is I just hold it for maybe 15 seconds or so. That's it, that's all I do. Sometimes you'll get, if you put a little bit too much glue, you'll have the glue kind of like pull up, you know, like make globs of it under your nail or on the sides. I use the orange stick. Let's see if I can get this out quickly. I just use the orange stick. If I can get it out. And I just use that and rub it, you know, just run it under my nail to get the glue off, have a paper towel handy, or on the sides, just use the orange stick and wipe off any extra that you have. Try not to get it on your artificial nail. I just use that, works well for me. I never have a problem. I don't make a mess doing, doing it the way I do it. You know, the nail polish stays on your little handy dandy contraption and the gel, the gel glue keeps it where you want it to be. You know, the only way I make a mess is if I put way too much glue on, which I've done it so many times now, hundreds of times. I about know how much to put on and you don't need a lot. It's super glue, but you do want glue over your entire natural nail. I just hold the nail on. That's it. Continue with the process for both hands. It just works well. It works well for me. And you can use any any nails that you want. They have so many different kind of nails at the Dollar Tree. They have the LA Colors brand. They have the Sassy and Chic brand. You can have the Kiss brand. You know, at, at the Walmart, things like that. They have so many different styles and beautiful. You can find them online. I just find it easier doing it that way. It saves me a ton of money doing it myself and not going to the salon to get my nails done. I never was one to go a lot to get my nails done. It was usually for special occasions, but then once I would get them done, I would want them to stay nice for a while. So every two, three weeks, I was going back to get refills. I can't see spending that kind of money when I can buy these type of things for a dollar and they last me two weeks easy, sometimes three weeks. And the reason I have to end up taking them off is just because they've grown out and they look bad. I rarely have one pop off and it usually if it does, it's always in the truck door. When I'm going to open the truck door, you know, the handle, I snap it and I pop one off. That's not the nail's fault. That's my fault just for being too rough. Somebody had asked me if I wear gloves when I do the dishes and things like that. I do not. I just use it like regular natural nails. I, I don't have a problem. If I'm using a heavy duty cleaner, like if I'm cleaning the oven or like now doing, you know, doing the windows and that type of thing. Yes, I would wear gloves for something like that. But just the everyday household chores, I don't. I don't have a problem with it like that. Um, yeah, I just, I, I've saved myself a small fortune by doing my own nails and I get compliments everywhere I you know if I buy them from the Dollar Tree it's a dollar but I can get two sets out of this pack so it would be 50 cents to do my nails I could do my nails every single week and it would only be it would be $52 or less to do my nails how much does it cost to go to the salon to get your nails done $30 $40 $50 I don't know because I haven't been there for a long time but years ago when I went, I know it was like $35 to get my nails done. You know, I, I can't see doing it. I just can't. And like I said, I get compliments all the time on my nails. You all have, you know, said so many kind things about my nails. I love them and I'll continue to do it that way. So now I'm going to talk about how I take them off. Please don't just pop them off. A lot of people bite on it and pop them off. You will destroy your natural nail by doing it that way. I don't. I take an hour or less out of the day when, they're time, when it's time to come off and I do it a better way. What I do is, 
I showed these in one of my hauls. These are the, what do they call them? The soak off nail caps. You get enough for one hand, which I only do one hand at a time. So my other hand is free to do other things. These are the caps that I've been using at least a year. It may be longer. And they're still in excellent shape. When I'm done, you know, taking them off, I wash them out good with soap and water. I let them dry. I put them in a baggie and put them in my little bin with all my other nail supplies. These work great. I can't imagine putting them on both hands at one time and not being able to do anything. So I just buy, buy this one pack and do one hand at a time. It doesn't take long. So what I do is I take one of the caps and one of them is marked with an L for large and all the rest are small. So the, the large would be for your thumb, of course, your biggest finger. I take a cotton pad and I cut it into fours. I just cut it in half, cut it in half again into four little sections. That's enough for four, four fingers. I soak the cotton pad in their acetone, 100% acetone nail polish remover. I soak it. I, I'm going to put these down. I just put it over my nail and then, oh, I don't know where the large went. I take one of the caps and I just place it, make sure that the cotton ball is on your actual nail, place the cap on, and then I just sit for probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I just let it sit and I do it for each nail, of course. I soak the this cotton pad in acetone, wrap it kind of around my nail, put the cap on. Sometimes you have to kind of push the cotton pad down into the cap put them on and then I just go ahead and and just sit for 10-15 minutes or so and then when you pull them off find one with the cotton ball usually the cotton pad will stick to the natural nail I'll take it and I just kind of rub gently rub off the you know as much of the nail as you can get with this one sometimes you'll have to get a new cotton pad and put some some new on some fresh acetone I rub and rub. If there's still a buildup of the nail and the glue, I just do the process again. I just put a, a fresh piece of cotton with acetone, put the cap on, and sit for a few more minutes. It usually doesn't take much longer than that. You know, maybe 15 minutes tops to, you know, to take it off. You know, it takes longer just to, to rub it off and clean off your hand than it does for the process. And that's that. Now, if, if one of my nails has like a glitter polish on it, when I'm getting ready to take them off, I will buff the glitter, the glitter nail a little bit. Just glitter is hard to get off. We all know that. So I will use a nail file, a pretty heavy grit, and just buff some of the, the glue just to get it down to the actual nail polish, like through the top coat onto the nail polish. Other than that, I don't do anything else. And I just soak them off. Like I said, you might have to repeat the process again if there's still some little bit of nail or glue left on your nail. I don't rebuff after I'm done, nothing. I just wash my hands good and dry them. And then what I do, it, and I didn't bring it up with me, Dollar Tree has a little container of coconut oil. I have one of those that's strictly for my nails. When I'm done doing everything, I take just a tiny, tiny bit. If you guys have ever used coconut oil, you know that you don't need much of it. And I just rub a teeny tiny bit on each nail and just let it there and let it just kind of soak, soak in, re-nourish my nails, and that's it until it's time to reapply new nails. It is so easy, just cheap dollar, well, this was Dollar General, but all Dollar Tree products Dollar Tree products, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, with a, a little shout out to Walmart for the big pack, for the big pack of nails, and a little shout out to Dollar General for the smaller packs. But it's easy, it's quick, it's a money saver, and I love how they how they turn out. I have several different sets, different colors. I have spring, summer colors, I have darker winter colors, maybe you can see this way better, all different colors of nails already pre-made for me. These were all the newest from the, the, the colors they had out at Dollar Tree just lately. They had, I think the last set that I had on in my videos was pink and I made myself another pink set. 
but they have the blue and the purple and the pink and all that so I have new sets of those made and just all different colors of nails that sets that I have ready to go I I'm never without my nails I just I like having nails on. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel pretty. It makes me feel put together. I just, I like having nails on. I'm not one for loud, crazy, really design type nails. I think they're beautiful, but I'm just not one that really does that myself. Plus my hands are kind of shaky. So um, for me to paint my own, I don't think I could do it. I've thought about trying, but I never really have. And that's how I do it guys that's it's easy it's quick it saves me money I I just love it and when I get sick of them even if it's not two three weeks if I get tired of them I just take them off I don't have to worry about I just wasted a bunch of money by taking my nails off you know if I get tired of the color I could just take them off switch them out put on a new pair it is easy and quick and a money saver and plus I get compliments all the time and that makes me really happy that not only do they look good but I'm saving me and my household my husband a ton of money by doing it this way and even hubby comments about you know everywhere we go you have somebody comment on your nails so that makes me feel good so anyway way guys I hope that answered a lot of your questions I hope I hit on everything that I wanted to if you have any other questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments. I'd, I'd gladly answer them. And I think that's about it. So if you like my hauls and my Dollar Tree hauls, my empties reviews, please subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Thank you for those of you who suggested I do a video like this explaining how I do it. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, please just leave them, leave them down below and I will happily answer. All right, guys, you have a great rest of your day. I'm going to go and clean all this stuff up now, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.